Probably. My name is Petty Officer First Class Vivian Dees, and I've been in the Sea Cadets for almost four years now. Um, I started because my aunt was in the Air Force, uh, or she's in the Air Force now, and um, she was actually in Sea Cadets in the same unit that I'm in. My parents were given the opportunity to visit um, my dad on the Eisenhower and my mother on the USS Enterprise before it was decommissioned for a civilian visit. And both of them came back with amazing footage or uh, pictures of planes being slingshot off the side of ships and stuff and I was like amazed. <laughs> I was like that is the coolest thing I have ever seen in my life. Why I need to do that right now. <laughs> and um, I, my mother remembered her sister being involved in the Sea Cadets a long time ago and uh, so we looked him up again and uh, I got involved and I've experienced a lot more of the Navy than I thought I would and I now have a, a firm plan for my future and I uh, can't imagine doing anything else. Uh, my plans are to hopefully attend the Naval Academy and major in cyber operations. Reveille. And if I don't like that, or if I don't really love my job, then I'll probably go to flight school and hopefully love that and do that for the rest of my naval career. Reveille! Get up! Before Sea Cadets, I was the biggest nerd ever. <laughs> I, I was kind of antisocial. I didn't didn't have that many friends. I was, wasn't really ready to get out there that much. I didn't put myself out there and do things that I was uncomfortable with. Um, and when I joined Sea Cadets, I learned that first, you're always going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes all the time, and you're going to make really big mistakes. And you're going to make it in front of everybody. But that's okay, because the really big mistakes, the really loud ones, the really bright ones that everybody can see are the ones that you really learn from and you can grow from. And it's those mistakes that I made and those experiences that I absolutely failed at <laughs> that have brought me to do things like the inbound exchange program and the outbound exchange program. Um, it's brought me to where I am in rank now and my, my unit gives me leadership opportunities that I I desperately wanted so badly <laughs> just a few years ago and um, it all has to do with being able to fall down over and over and just get back up and brush yourself off and just say, you know what, today's a new day, I'm going to do better today. Petty Officer Dees first came to us in the summer of 2015. She was to serve on staff of the United States Exchange at the Naval Base in Newport, Rhode Island. She outperformed our expectations. She came with a willingness to learn, incredibly patriotic, a great citizen, a wonderful student, and a creative thinker. That creative thinking process was something that I noticed right away. So she was put in a position of authority to help us run the actual exchange itself. Through her efforts, through her talent, and her good scholastic work, as well as her community, outreach work that she's done back home in Florida, we knew we had to have her back this year for the exchange. The mission of the International Exchange Program is to provide specialized education, training, and the opportunity to travel abroad for qualified U.S. Naval Sea Cadets who have an interest in learning about the cultural differences and the nautical traditions that strengthen us as a global community. Through specialized training, and hard work and research our cadets learn about their counterparts overseas in many, many different countries. The International Sea Cadet Association is comprised of 20 countries around the world and we work with every single one of them. The inbound exchange program is different than any other sea cadet training that there is. Um, the, normally when a sea cadet staffs a training, they're thinking they have authority over the cadets that are going. They um, they're in charge. And for this, ex this is an exchange and it's not our exchange. We're here to be hosts. We're not here to boss people around and tell them what to do. We're here to make friends and make sure that their experience is the best experience possible while they're here. 
um, so that they can go home and say, wow, the United States was fantastic. This the United States Naval Sea Cadet Corps was fantastic. Um, and the friendships that you make through that are, I mean, extend years and years and years into the future. I know my CEO kept in contact with a person he, uh, he met in exchange for over 20 years. Um, I myself am keeping in contact to this day um, with friends that I met at the exchange I did last summer. So it's just a really, really tight bond. Like the last day of the inbound exchange is a really sad day when everybody has to leave. Um, you realize that, man, like these people are my best friends. And now it's only been two weeks and we just, now we're all going back to our, our little places around the globe. And, uh, Hopefully we'll go back and talk about how great our experiences were and we'll keep in touch and we'll stay friends for a long time. And as the days went by, I turned my wheel towards the thunder, taking on a challenge that I knew could take me under. Oh, and it took me down. I've made more friends with this training than I have with all of the other ones through Sea Cadets combined. And um, it's the inbound exchange that I did in 2015 was the highlight of my life. It was the best thing I had ever done and I was completely sure of that. And this, the one that I just completed this year was just as good, just as good, if not better. And it's just, a really really amazing experience and it's a, a super amazing program to be a part of.